Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for today's visit uh, I'm actually at a place called The Freeze House. Don't let the name fool you, it's actually in Cumnock uh, in Ayrshire. So I, I, I will have to try and find out to see why it is called The Freeze House. Uh, but as you can see there's a lot of nice grounds to, to go for a wander as well, as well as there being uh, a big house, like in a mansion house. Try to go and yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can, can go for a wander in it as well. So at the moment, as it is about lunchtime, I'm going to try and get something to eat. And as the weather is again glorious, uh, I'm going to look forward to having a week explore today and get out into the sun. And hopefully you all enjoy the video. And if you do, if you enjoy my videos, if you enjoy my channel, please click on the subscription button, please click on that notification bell. Leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And hopefully this is going to be another, another good visit. So I, think, I think over there just beyond the trees, that is the house itself. So I'm going to go for a wander up there soon. just now and the sun's still splitting the sky the sky is still boiling so let this car go by and I would definitely recommend going for the grand tour because like uh, at the time of shooting this video so that's 2019 it was 14 pounds for, for 90 minutes it's an hour and a half and you get to see quite a lot of the house and I would definitely recommend it's a beautiful house and I'm going to go for a wander around the grounds now and hopefully it does look like it's going to be some beautiful grounds as well they've got a dog show on at the moment so that's where all the noise is coming from and so I'm going to stop yatter and on just now and shoot some more of the gardens And that's beautiful waterfall. Oh, no waterfall. Fountain. Yeah, the heat's getting to me. Fountain. So I'm gonna go up this way and take a video down back where I came so you can actually see the house. So that's the dog show up there. So that there is the Duke's house. Them to help it, 
so the door that you can see just behind the fountain would be the front door of the house. So that's the back of Dumfries house there. And you just turn around and you've got his view. Some of the gardens that surround the house. You know, it sounds like a bit of a weak Greek temple. Talking sit and rest. Made out of wood. When I was on the wee house tour, I, yeah, I actually learned quite a lot of the history of the house. And as I was saying earlier on, it was originally the house of the Earl of Dumfries. And that's why it's called Dumfries House. But also ended up being in the ownership. There's actually a family connection between Dumfries House and the present day royal family through the Stuarts. There's also the fact that uh, Prince Charles, uh, the current Prince of Wales, actually put money towards uh, the buying of Dumfries House so it could be bought for uh, the state. Uh, or I okay, guess essentially like a, so people could come in and enjoy and it would be preserved for future de generations because uh, the previous owners weren't able to, uh, didn't have the money to look after it and put it up for sale and we're selling it for I think it was 45 million at the time so I think uh, Prince Charles actually put 20 million towards it and the rest was put towards by, by the Scottish government and other funding bodies. So it's been preserved and it's always good, good to see that things like that happen. I'm gonna continue going for a wander and get some more videos. This is the, the ducket or dovecot. I'm gonna see it in a minute. And it actually predates the house we have now and was built about the same time as the it must be the Tower House, it was called uh, Leif Norris. Leif Norris is the original name for the estate. And so 
That's the dove kit down there, or duck kit. I do love gardens like this. I always find them so peaceful. Nice wee place to stop and rest, especially on a day like today. I like that. It's my bridge. So that's that wee shelter. It's almost like something out of Lord of the Rings. Like something you see in Hobbiton, Hobbington or something. Hobbiton, oh, however it's supposed to be pronounced. And um, this is the new bridge. Could be going across that. Well, the fact that that bridge looks just so medieval.
just been told that you can actually stay in some of these buildings. Oh, I might have to have a look at that. Seen some of these buildings, uh, all the works, all within a short distance of the, the big house. Well, that's me just what finished wandering around uh, the grounds for the Freeze House. Brilliant, brilliant place to come and have a wander, have an explore. So much land to kind of walk, walk around and kind of find your way around, get yourself lost in. The house is brilliant, Def definitely worth spending that wee bit extra and going for the grand tour. And they're also saying when we're on the tour, they've also got some events at, I think, but Christmas time is so that they actually have it, they can do a candlelit tour. So you're essentially going around the house and all the candles in the house are lit and there's no electricity on it, it's all done by candlelight. And you can then go in to, I think this is Stuart's dining room and have uh, essentially your dinner in there. So definitely, uh, sorry, I will be posting a link to the, the website for here. So if you keep an eye on the website, I think they're advertising it from about October, November and you can book and come along and take part in that, which I think would be a great thing. I think for the, the whole thing of going for the Kindlelit tour and the dinner, it's about £55, which when you compare it to a lot of other places to do similar things, that's a bit of a bargain. So I'm going to stop waffling on now and I'm going to finish the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.